In her official inquiry, Baroness Nuller O'Lone damned Scotland Yard over its failed Daniel Morgan investigations. She welcomed the Commissioner's apology, but said it wasn't enough. There is no acceptance that there is institutional corruption in the Metropolitan Police. And uh, I think that we showed quite clearly how and why we came to the conclusion that there was institutional corruption. And that corruption took the form of cover-up for the purposes of protecting the reputation of the Metropolitan Police rather than being honest. Private investigator Daniel Morgan was murdered 36 years ago. He'd been drinking in this South London pub. He was found dead in the pub's car park, an axe buried in his head. It's thought he was about to expose corruption in the Metropolitan Police. After five police investigations, failed prosecutions and an inquest, no one was ever convicted of his murder. Mr Morgan's family have just settled with the Met a civil claim for damages. In a statement, the Met's commissioner, Sir Mark Rowley, said, this case has been marred by a cycle of corruption, professional incompetence and defensiveness that has repeated itself over and over again. Daniel Morgan's family were given empty promises and false hope as successive investigations failed and the Metropolitan Police prioritised its reputation at the expense of transparency and effectiveness. The apology came on the day of the launch of the Alliance for Police Accountability. Mina Smallman is another victim of appalling police behaviour over the murder of her two daughters. She'd read the Daniel Morgan apology. As a parent who has lost a dear one and things could have been done better, uh, an apology isn't... It's nice, but it doesn't change anything. The settlement and apology probably signal the end of a grim saga. It's not the justice Daniel Morgan's family have fought for. His killer is still free. Martin Brunt, Sky News.